Hey, Andy here from builderhottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna look at how to identify a Balboa circuit board or PCB. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you've identified you need a new Balboa circuit board or PCB, maybe it's burnt out, maybe some components have failed, you need to find the right one. And in this video, I'm gonna give you some top tips on how to do so, because it can be quite confusing and it's quite easy to order the wrong part. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a really good idea of what to look for and you'll be able to identify exactly the circuit that you're looking for. Now, before we get onto that, you know I like to get this in there, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts, and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, and pretty much everything in between. So a little bit different today, we're gonna jump in and take a look at a circuit board in detail. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we have a Balboa circuit board. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly walk you through a couple of the points of cross-reference when you're trying to identify which circuit board you, you actually need. Now, all of the Balboa circuit boards have a Balboa logo and somewhere, and in this case it's over here, is a model number and a part number. So on this particular one, I have a GS500Z or GS500Z if you're in America and a part number of 22015 underscore B. So this is a good point to start. Okay, so this is a number that I'm gonna to need to cross reference with some other features on the board to make sure that I'm getting the right circuit board. So next thing I'm gonna do is when I'm looking for a replacement circuit board, I need to look that it's visually very, very similar. There may be some small changes as, as different revisions or new revisions have come in, but in general, the appearance should be very similar. Now, the most important thing on a Balboa circuit board is taking a look at the chip revision and the chip model that is actually in because for example on this GS500 this circuit board is used right across the range so we've got GS501s we've got GS501s SZs we've got GS501s that circuit layout is used right across the range so that model alone is not going to be enough so we need to cross reference this along with the chip number that can be found here. Now on some of the circuit boards, so for example, the one that's on screen now, that is a Balboa BP601. And what I'm showing you here is, is where the, the actual chip model on this is printed on the circuit board. So not only do we have the part number of 24133 underscore H, we also have a BP601 3G3R1C, and that is on a sticker which indicates what software is actually loaded onto the board. So again, even with a different model of Balboa, I've got a couple of points of reference where I can see the circuit board, the Balboa part number, but most importantly, what software is actually loaded onto the circuit board. So the real takeaway here in this short video is you've got to use multiple points of reference to identify a circuit board. You shouldn't just be relying on the first model that you come across or the first serial number that you come across. Make sure you cross-reference all of them to ensure you end up with the right circuit board. Okay, so hopefully you found this short video useful. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.